Um, so it's for the very youngest students. So very, very basic idea um, based on counting. Now counting is a natural way for students to think about adding and counting backwards is a, a way of thinking about subtracting. Um, and at these small increments where we're just adding one or two or maybe three, um, that's quite acceptable. It's a good way for students to think about the operation. Uh, when they get onto larger numbers, when we get onto doubles and near 10 facts and so on, we don't do counting. We use other strategies. But for these very small ones, we're going to do counting. Now, we're going to use two resources for this, uh, 10 frames and number lines, and both of them are just brilliant for helping students understand these um, early number facts, these early concepts. So the number fact we're looking at here is five and one more. And we'll start by asking our students to put five counters on their 10 frame. And then rather than say, put another one now, count them, I would suggest that it's better to say to the students, look at the five, see if you can figure out what one more is before you put the counter down. So we really want to emphasize the idea of visualizing the numbers and visualizing the answer or the, the result of carrying out the operation. Of course, we're going to see that that's six. Okay, so that's the 10 frame for counting on. The number line works in a similar sort of way, except of course, it's a, a purely linear um, representation. It's all in one dimension. It's in a long straight line. We never sort of double up and come back underneath as with the 10 frame. And in this one, we're simply saying what number comes next. So if we start at um, three, for example, we're saying to the students, can you tell what the next number is? So if we say, what's three plus one? All we want the student to do is think of the number that comes after it. Again, we would want the student to think about it, visualize it, process it in their mind, and hopefully provide the answer before anyone draws an arrow or you know, points to the numbers and that sort of thing. So the point of using the resources is to help the students to visualize the relationships and the operation and how it all fits together so that they can handle all this on their own without the resources um, as soon as they're ready. Of course, this, is, uh, this relates clearly to the sequence of counting numbers. So the last thing to say is without any resources at all, we would say to our students, think about the counting numbers. And is, for example, six plus one, we would say, how much is it if we, if we get up to six, if we count on one more after six, what's the next number? And of course, we want the students to be able to think in their minds and process that sequence of numbers and start not back at zero, but start from the number we're starting on and move on to the next one. So there is actually quite a lot to do here for the very young students, but it's an essential part of their becoming familiar with the sequence of counting numbers and to get used to the operation of addition.